హలో గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ మ్యామ్ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ ఐఎమ్ భాగ్యశ్రీ దిస్ ఈస్ మై రెస్యూమ్ ఓకే ఓకే భాగ్యశ్రీ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ గివింగ్ మీ దిస్ వండర్ఫుల్ ఆపర్చునిటీ టు ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ మై సెల్ఫ్ మ్యామ్ మై నేమ్ ఈస్ భాగ్యశ్రీ ఐఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ పెద్దాపురం కరెంట్లీ స్టేయింగ్ ఎట్ హైదరాబాద్ ఐ కంప్లీటెడ్ మై గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ ఎట్ ఆదిత్య కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఎట్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇన్ ద స్ట్రీమ్ ఆఫ్ సిఎస్ఇ నా అండ్ ఐ కంప్లీటెడ్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఇన్ కేఎస్ అండ్ జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ అండ్ ఐ డన్ మై ఎస్ఎస్సి ఇన్ సునీల్ ఇంగ్లీష్ మీడియం స్కూల్ కరెంట్లీ ఐఎమ్ లెర్నింగ్ కోర్సెస్ అండ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు గెట్ ద జాబ్స్ మై షార్ట్ టైమ్ గోల్ ఈస్ టు గెట్ ద జాబ్ ఇన్ రిక్రూటెడ్ కంపెనీ and my long term goal is to get the place in a high level in that company my technical coming to my technical skills um i know um i completed java python and c uh, according to key skills html and css are my skills okay now i am asking some technical questions and core java okay, okay ma'am what is what is a string a string is a uh, predefined class uh, it is a non primitive data type which we use to store the char- more than two characters uh, string is an immutable character so if we do perform any operations on the string we cannot change the actual value but it actually creates uh, another new variable okay what is a string buffer string buffer is as same as uh, string but uh, when coming to string buffer it is immutable when we perform any operations on the string buffer the actual value uh, can be changed uh, and uh, when compared to string and string buffer string buffer is uh, string buffer buffer performance is very high okay what is a package package a package is a collection of uh, similar classes and uh, interfaces is known as packages we can uh, import uh, uh, packages explicitly and implicitly also by using these packages we don't need to write the entire code by using those packages uh, we can uh, extract the code from uh, other classes and simply write the code okay explain explain the difference between double quotes and equal to method method in the string um in a string the double equals to and uh, equals to method are different whereas uh, de- double equals to refers to the uh, reference of the content and equal to method is used to refer the uh, content variable in a object class equals to method is used for Uh, compare the reference of the variables but when compared to the string it will compare the content of the variable uh, by using uh, method overriding uh, string class can perform its uh, own method in um, equals to method so uh, double equals to is used to uh, compare the con- reference of the content and equals to method is used to content of the refer the content okay okay explain about wrapper classes in java it is in uh, partially uh, oops concept because of uh, primitive data types so to overwrite this difficulty we use wrapper classes by converting the primitives into objects okay what is an interface an interface is an keyword uh, we use this keyword to create an interface it is used to it is mainly used for abstract classes in a interface all the class all the methods are uh, by default taken as uh, okay uh, all right difference between interface and abstract class in abstract class if uh, a single class is uh, given as abstract keyword uh, then we can considered is an abstract class but whereas an interface all the methods are by default abstract methods we can, 
in interfaces we can give 100% uh, code hiding we can achieve 100% abstraction by using interfaces whereas in abstract class we can't achieve abstraction so we can achieve but we can achieve only partially okay explain final keyword final keyword is a, is a keyword in the java which is used for classes methods and variables if we use the final keyword for classes we cannot inherit from for another classes if we in a, if we use it for methods we cannot uh, override other method if it is given for an variable we cannot change the value of that variable okay explain about exception handling exception handling um, exception means occurrence of uh, unexpected uh, pro methods is known as exception to handle this we have two types checked exception and unchecked exception by using these methods we can uh, uh, handle the exceptions okay explain about try catch and final keywords in java to uh, to overcome the exception we use try catch and uh, final keywords the code which we accept to be an exception will be written in the uh, try block to handle that uh, exception we use catch block uh, irrespective of try and catch blocks final block will be executed if the if the try block if the code in the try block having any exception also irrespective of that uh, exception the final block finally block will be executed okay explain the life cycle of multi threading in multi threading life cycle it contains of uh, five methods which are new method runnable method running wait method and uh, dead method okay Where in a new method the method uh, the thread will be created and in a runnable state the st when the thread is ready to start then it will be in the runnable st state if the thread is a in the execution state then it will be in running state if any other thread is uh, uh, in running state and the thread is in a synchronized state then it will be in wait state after completion of complete execution it will be in dead state okay difference between multi threading and multi tasking in the difference between multi threading and multi tasking is in multi threading a single task will be performed by multiple threads whereas in multi tasking multiple uh, task will be performed simultaneously in multi threading a cpu allocate only a um, one type one amount of memory for all the threads whereas in multi tasking it will allocates multiple memory spaces for uh, all the tasks uh, in uh, multi tasking the threads have to share the only allocated memory by themselves but whereas in multi tasking every task has its own allocation for memory okay difference between array and array list uh, the array is used to store the homogeneous elements um, in a single variable whereas in a array list it is used to store the multiple elements of heterogeneous in a single variable array is in uh, in array we can store only limited values but uh, in array list we don't need to mention the size it is dynamically taken the size okay what is the difference between initializing and string by using literal and new keyword in string we can uh, initialize the string by using two ways by using literal and by using name new keyword if we use the literal the string uh, will be stored in a uh, scp which is string constant pool and with the reference it, it does not uh, stored in uh, heap memory but if we use the new keyword then it will be then it will be stored in uh, scp without reference but it is also stored in a uh, heap by using literal if uh, 
uh, if the variable is already if the data is already existed then it does not create any other uh, memory for it it just uh, provide that reference to that uh, already existed uh, variable but uh, when compare when coming to new if there is uh, a variable in the heap if the same variable is uh, also given it will allocate its separate memory it does not give the reference to the existed ones okay okay bagesh ji we will get back to you thank you ma'am